if you follow Durjay Dutt closely, then you will understand this book really, really well. I mean, if you follow his Instagram channel, if you follow his life, if his you know personal life, family life, then you will be able to understand a lot of from this book. Like he stays in the Dubai. His name starts with D D. That is Durjay Dutt. Then his wife name is Avandika Mohan, which is A M. And if you then if you start reading this book or if you already know the characters in this book while reading the blurb and everything, then you will be able to connect everything. It's like a solving a complete puzzle. So this book, the world's worst slash best girlfriend, it's a story about two people. The first is Daksh and second is Achal. The story starts actually how they meet each other, like the Daksh and the Achal. Daksh name starts from the D, then Durjodhar name starts from the D. Anchal name starts from the A and Avantika name starts from the A. So, you know, they kind of all the books like Durjodhar's, all the books revolve around their initials D and A and about their family, what happens in their family and what is his learning and how he tried to add all of those elements in his, in this book. Like he stays in the Dubai, there is a, there is a small portion, not small portion, almost a good portion that talk about, you know, Dubai and everything. Then they're traveling, like how they travel everywhere and how their journey is. So everything you will find in this book. So if you follow them personally, then you will be able to connect with a lot of this chapter in this book. So Daksh and Achal, they meet in a very isolated or a very posh resort in, in Andamans. Where Achal, you know, Achal, has, Achal family has won one of the lottery, like specifically triple lottery. And they are there and Daksh is for his vacation. So Achal is trying to get from the lower middle class to the, you know, upper middle class, trying to understand life, trying to build a good life and everything. And where Daksh is aimless, clueless, where he has no idea what to do in his life. He has don't have like really goals. He just roaming around and without any clueless, without any clue without doing anything great in life and their love story starts from that point like Achal is won this lottery because of Mahindra so there is a starting point I'm not going to give the spoilers because that starts after a little little late part in the book like almost 70-80% from that point the, the spoilers actually start but before that it's just very a good story about Daksh and Achal where they get into each other, they talk about their excess, they talk about their friendship, they talk about life, they talk about, you know, upper middle class, lower middle class life. So there is a kind of a social message in, into that, you know, why there is always difference between the rich family and the poor family, how they live differently. So that, that kind of things that I have covered in this book. Move towards the middle of the book, then you will get to know more about their character, you know, how they uh, born and brought up and everything about that. And then there is almost a gap in this relationship and after the four years they meet with each other and when they meet after a few years then there is another completely story about the Daksh and a completely different story about the Achal that you will get to know on a side note I will say it's a good book it's not that bad book it's not that really really great that you will you know get hooked from the page one to you know till the end because at the end of the day story is kind of a diff different than, than difficult I will say it's very different than what we normally imagine like we always imagine ki, you know uh, in, uh, like the 14 hour stars or if you talk about any other romantic cliche book then it's always end up with yaar, wo dono saath mein aajate, and the end of the chapter something like that might happen or might not happen I'm not going to tell you but there is a different spice in the story there is a different new way or the new perspective to the look at the relationship because their journey starts from almost age of the 17 until that goes almost age of the 13 about the world and there are so many things happen in this between this journey like when they first come in that first attraction wala thing and everything those happens ki jaha pe you want each other you want to talk to each other you want to spend time with each other and there is a time where you start you know ignoring each other there is a time when you get along with each other and there is a time when you don't want it to be with each other so it's a complete ups and downs in their relationship and there are you know other characters like i have obviously noted that because it's really hard to remember there is an, another uh, character like gaurav samiksha which are their friends they are also involved as a side character which they played really good role i will say uh, where vanita when vanita get married to dalita which is the character another which is an interesting plot to talk about but i'm not going to give the spoiler so that you will understand while you start reading this book so that's another point in this book to be honest it's very easy to read if you have followed Durjodat in on his instagram profile then 
then you will definitely connect with lot of points is really easy to read easy to understand the story is something different i i have liked the few pages for the few chapters in this book and i have hated as well the few chapters in this book that's completely honest review from my side but you can definitely give it a try once time and at the end of the day he also talk about another book which is the past book like world's best boyfriend so they have renamed the kind of that book and the cover also renamed for that book that you will find at the you know end of this this end of this chapter where you will find that completely where, where he talk about the dhruv and aranya another d and a d from the durjadat and a from the his wife so usually he is all this character revolves around the same name and the topic which is kind of a good thing or a kind of a cliche it depends on how we take it whether they wanted to talk about their own life or whether they wanted to you know just wanted to add their initials into the book to make it you know immortal i will say so that's everything about this book uh, i will say if you are reading for the first time then do give it a try it's not that bad book and if you already read a lot of durjadat books then you will understand few topics and you will love two topics as well so that's all for today's video i have already made a few videos on the durjadat books so make sure you go check out and if you want to make me another review on any other book so let me know in the comment section so that's all for today see you in the next one